Hello and welcome to our channel where we bring history to life. Today we're going to talk about a sensitive topic that's both heartbreaking and inspiring. The reality of pregnancy in Auschwitz. It's a story of unimaginable suffering but also of incredible strength, resilience and hope. We'll get to know closely the midwife at Auschwitz who defied all odds to deliver over 3,000 babies and we'll explore the harrowing journey that pregnant women had to endure in one of the darkest periods in human history. So sit back, relax and grab a cup of tea and let's discover the extraordinary story of pregnancy in Auschwitz together. First, let's hit that subscribe button and enjoy the rest of our video. Let's dive in. The reality of pregnancy in Auschwitz. Pregnancy in Auschwitz was a grim reality that many women had to face during the Holocaust. For these women, pregnancy meant facing a set of challenges that were unimaginable to most of us. They were forced to endure extreme conditions, malnutrition and brutality, all while trying to protect their unborn children. Unfortunately, the odds were stacked against them. According to some estimates, the infant mortality rate in Auschwitz was as high as 90%, and the mortality rate for pregnant women was similarly high due to the harsh conditions of the concentration camp. But despite these daunting odds, there were still some women who gave birth and survived. One such woman was a midwife who managed to deliver over 3,000 babies in Auschwitz. Her name was Stanislaw Lesciska, and she defied all odds to bring new life into the world in the midst of death and destruction. Her story is a testament to the human spirit and the power of hope. But let's not forget the many other women who faced the reality of pregnancy in Auschwitz. Women who had to hide their pregnancies to avoid being sent to the gas chambers. Women who had to give birth without proper medical care in crowded and unsanitary conditions. Women who had to watch as their newborns were taken away from them, never to be seen again. It's hard to even imagine what these women went through. But through their stories, we can honour their strength and resilience. The Midwife at Auschwitz One of the most inspiring figures in the story of pregnancy in Auschwitz is Stanislawa Leszczyska, the midwife who managed to deliver over 3,000 babies in a concentration camp. Stanislaw was a trained midwife from Poland who was sent to Auschwitz along with their daughter in 1943. Despite the incredible difficult conditions, Stanislaw managed to put her skills to good use and helped hundreds of women give birth in the camp. But being a midwife in Auschwitz was no easy feat. Stanislaw faced constant challenges such as the lack of medical supplies, the threat of punishment for assisting pregnant women and the ever-present danger of being caught by the guards. She had to perform deliveries in the most rudimentary conditions, often using whatever she could find as makeshift medical equipment. Despite these challenges, Stanis Lawa never gave up. She continued to assist pregnant women, even when it meant putting her own life at risk. Her bravery and compassion inspired many of the women she helped and gave them a glimmer of hope in the midst of their suffering. One woman who was helped by Stanis Lawa during her pregnancy was Helena Citronova. Helena was a Jewish prisoner who was pregnant when she arrived at Auschwitz. She was terrified for herself and her unborn child, but Stanislawa helped her through the delivery and even risked her own life to save Helena's newborn daughter. Helena later said, Stanislawa was an angel in hell. She saved my baby and she saved me. She was a mother to me when I had no mother. Stories like Helena's remind us of the incredible impact that Stanislaw had on the lives of so many women in Auschwitz. Pregnancy and motherhood in Auschwitz. As we've seen, being pregnant in Auschwitz was an incredibly difficult experience. Women faced a lack of medical care, constant hunger and exhaustion, and the ever-present risk of punishment from the guards. The living conditions were inhumane, with overcrowding and disease running rampant. Pregnant women were often forced to work long hours in the camp, which put them and their unborn babies at risk. Despite all of these challenges, many women still managed to give birth in Auschwitz and to care for their newborns as best as they could. One woman who gave birth in the camp was Gina Turgel, a Jewish prisoner who arrived at Auschwitz when she was just 16 years old and pregnant. Gina gave birth to her son in the camp with the help of a midwife but was then separated from him and didn't see him again for months. 
Despite the difficult living conditions, Gina managed to care for her newborn son as best as she could, keeping him warm and fed as much as possible. Gina's story is just one example of the incredible strength and resilience of the mothers who gave birth in Auschwitz. These women faced unimaginable challenges, yet they still managed to care for their newborns with love and compassion. Many of them even managed to breastfeed their babies despite the lack of food and water. They would risk punishment and even death to try to ensure the survival of their infants. However, the fate of the babies born in Auschwitz was often grim. Due to the lack of medical care and the difficult living conditions, many newborns died within days or even hours of being born. And even when babies did survive, they were often subjected to cruel and inhumane treatment by the Nazis. Some were used for medical experiments or as subjects for Nazi propaganda films, while others were simply left to die of exposure or starvation. It's hard to imagine the emotional toll that giving birth and raising a child in such an environment would take on these women. Yet, despite everything they went through, they still found ways to care for and love their children. These stories are a testament to the power of the human spirit and a reminder of the incredible strength that can be found in the most challenging of circumstances. The Psychological Impact of Pregnancy in Auschwitz Being pregnant in Auschwitz wasn't just physically challenging, it was also psychologically traumatic. Pregnant women faced constant fear and anxiety about their own survival as well as the survival of their unborn babies. They were uncertain about what the future held and whether they would ever be reunited with their families. The trauma of separation from loved ones and the loss of their babies also took a toll on the women. They were forced to give birth in horrific conditions, often without any medical assistance. Many had to watch helplessly as their babies were taken away and used in experiments or left to die. Despite these challenges, some women were able to find ways to cope. One such woman was Magda Rosenbaum, who gave birth to her daughter in Auschwitz. Magda found solace in her faith and the belief that she would one day be reunited with her family. Her determination to survive for her daughter's sake helped her to overcome the psychological trauma of being pregnant in Auschwitz. The role of compassion and empathy in midwifery. Compassion and empathy are two essential qualities for any midwife but they were especially crucial for the midwife at Auschwitz. She was responsible for delivering over 3,000 babies in the camp, often in the most difficult circumstances. Building trust and rapport with patients was essential for the midwife to provide the emotional support they needed. She listened to their needs, comforted them during labour and helped them to bond with their babies. These qualities not only helped to ease the physical pain of childbirth, but also provided a sense of hope and humanity in an otherwise inhumane environment. One example of the importance of compassion and empathy in midwifery is the story of Zofia Kosak Zajzuka. Zofia was a Polish Catholic who was arrested and sent to Auschwitz for her involvement in the Polish resistance. Despite the danger, she worked as a midwife in the camp, delivering babies and providing emotional support to their mothers. Zofia's compassion and empathy helped to ease the suffering of countless women in Auschwitz. Her actions remind us of the incredible impact that midwives can have on the lives of mothers and babies, even in the most challenging circumstances. Lessons learned from the midwife of Auschwitz. In this section, we'll explore the lessons that can be learned from the incredible story of the midwife of Auschwitz and her legacy. First and foremost, we can see the importance of compassion and empathy in times of crisis. Despite being in one of the most horrific places imaginable, the midwife was able to connect with her patients on a deep level and provide them with the care and support they needed. Her willingness to listen, understand and be there for them undoubtedly made a significant difference in their lives. Another lesson we can take from her story is the importance of courage and resilience in the face of adversity. The midwife faced enormous challenges and risks every day, yet she continued to show up and do what was right. Her unwavering dedication to her patients and her principles is an inspiration to us all. Finally, we can see the incredible impact that one person's actions can have, even in the darkest of times. The midwife at Auschwitz story has inspired countless people around the world to make a positive difference in their own communities, whether working in healthcare, advocating for human rights, or simply showing kindness and compassion to those around them. 
So let's all take a moment to honour her legacy and remember the lesson we can learn from her story. As we face our own challenges and struggles, may we find the strength, courage and compassion to make a positive impact in our own lives and the lives of others. While the atrocities of the Holocaust can never be fully comprehended or justified, we can take inspiration from the incredible resilience, courage and compassion of the midwife and her patients. In the face of unimaginable horrors, they found the strength to keep going, to keep fighting for their lives and their dignity. As we move forward from this video, I encourage you to take these lessons to heart and find ways to make a positive impact in your own life and the lives of those around you. Whether through volunteering, advocating for human rights, or simply showing kindness and compassion to those in need, we all have the power to make a difference. Remember, even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. So let's honour the legacy of the midwife of Auschwitz and all those who suffered during this tragic period by striving to create a more compassionate and just world for ourselves and future generations. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see more interesting videos like this one. And until next time, let's keep learning, growing and making a positive impact in the world.